Hello everyone, Bridget Ayer here with All About the Grace, and yeah, I'm on the road here. Uh, actually, no, I'm not on the road, I'm just in my prayer chair. Prayer chair, that's the topic for today. And really, it is about prayer. And how do you pray? And there are probably a million different formulas for how you pray, but um, I have um, a prayer chair. And what's kind of funny about that is that one time I was asking one of my kids to go get me one of my books that was near my prayer chair. And they said, which one's that, Mom? That's like every chair. And I'm like, I, I took that as a compliment, but I don't really pray that much. But maybe they think I do. But anyway, um, really this segment's going to be somewhat based on a book by Father Michael Scanlon called Appointment with God. And that book was really about uh, developing your prayer life. And Father Michael Scanlon, um, he's now deceased. He was the president of Franciscan University of Steubenville. So a lot of hello Steubenville fans out there. But the book is Appointment with God. In fact, I've given that book I have several books that I give away a lot, and that's another one. And I don't, I don't actually have a copy of it right now because I've given them all away. Um, but appointment with God, and really, that has to do with um, your prayer life. But the main point of appointment with God and prayer is that, and that's why I have a prayer chair, is that. There are really three components to prayer. Um, one is you have a specific time that you pray, like every day, a specific time. And then the other thing is you have a specific place that you pray. Okay, that's the prayer chair for me. And then the third thing is you do a specific act during the prayer. So the whole idea of appointment with God is that just like anything else that you want to do on a regular basis, whether it's go to work, go to school, work out, eat, sleep, whatever, you have to do it on a regular basis or it's never going to happen. You have to have, you have to schedule time for that. Like if I don't schedule my workout, it doesn't happen. If I don't schedule dates with my husband, they don't happen. If I don't schedule time to do work, it doesn't happen. So just like anything else, you really need to have a schedule. You need to schedule prayer time. And it's really interesting if, and I have done this many times, pray with monks or down at St. Meinrad or um, even with like different religious communities. I used to pray um, I've prayed with a bunch of different people over the years, but like the Benedictine Sisters, um, out at Beach Grove, and just other various communities. And anyone that is in a religious community, and even like diocesan priests, they pray the Liturgy of the Hours, and they have specific times of the day, throughout the day, multiple times that they pray. And that is really what keeps our relationship with God going. Number one, a specific time. So for me, I have to pray in the morning. First thing when I get up, before I do anything else, I come right over to the prayer chair. I have obviously a specific place, which is the prayer chair. And then I do like have a specific act, or I guess what I would call maybe a methodology. Um, I'm going to do another video which talks about the very specific things that you can do dur during prayer time, but I've been really dying honestly to do a video about the prayer chair and really for you to think about where do you pray? Do you have a regular prayer time? Do you have a regular prayer place? are you making an appointment with God on a regular basis? And really that's the whole point of prayer is to really connect with God. And I have found that with anything in life that I have a goal 
of or anything that I is important to me I have to schedule it and make sure it happens otherwise it just doesn't happen because you know you get busy and you know you just, things just don't get done so anyway this is my prayer chair and um, oh and I should probably tell you some of the things that I do have at my prayer chair this isn't exactly um, everything that I do but at my prayer chair um, I do have a Bible and I do have spiritual reading and I do have I think I have it with me oh yeah I have like my one bread one body book so like I do have specific things that I do at during my prayer time and you know your prayer time can be I mean some people just say I'm gonna do five minutes every day some people do 30 minutes I mean I'd love to do an hour that's not really realistic though sometimes depends how early I get up but I try to get up and pray the first thing that the, the day before anybody's up so I don't get interrupted and that I have quiet and I don't have any distractions so that's really the best best time it doesn't always happen but I try to every day and then you know obviously you can do other things throughout the day but um, you're at my prayer chair so um, I hope that you will think about having an appointment with God every day whether it, you have a prayer chair or a place in your house I, I, I know other people that have you know they just kinda of set up a little a little chapel area and you know here I mean obviously my prayer chair is set up I've got an icon of Jesus and I've got a crucifix right here um, but you can have other you know maybe just like a little picture of Jesus or you know whatever helps you kind of connect with God um, is great and so I hope that this was helpful if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do um, if I haven't told you already which I have told this a bunch of times I have a new book called uh, discipleship using new media or breaking new ground discipleship using new media it's all about evangelization well I hope this was helpful um, please leave a comment let me know if you have a prayer chair and um, maybe what's at your prayer chair. So thanks for watching. God bless.